We've seen advances in barbecuing and so on from our good friend Mike Pilaw from Romantic Fireplaces and Barbecues. How are you? I'm very good. How are you doing? I'm, I'm well, but you, I ran into you Saturday at the shop. We did. And you're super excited about this next product. Martin Lutz is here with the Black Olive Pellet Grill. Martin, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good to see you. Uh, Michael Shannon is here, the Grateful Griller back there. He's already working. How are you, buddy? Good, how are you? Good to see you, my friend. Nice to see good you to see today. You. Okay. Tell me about this bad boy. There's a, listen, I could not hardly get a word in with Michael the other day. <laughs> he was so excited about this thing. That's exactly what we want. This is the world's only and first wood pellet Kamado grill. Convenience of this grill gives you all the taste, gives you all the flavoring that people like from a charcoal grill, yet you're not struggling with bags to Did light it. Did you just it. turn it on? It's just been turned on. Oh, uh -oh. that's pretty easy, Kurt. Yeah. <laughs> in under two minutes, we'll see smoke coming out. That's ignition. It'll then go up 100 degrees a minute. A day like this, it'll go up 100 degrees a minute. 20 below zero, it'll go up 100 degrees a minute. Right. As you can see, there's no air controls. This is a completely sealed unit. Right. So unlike a charcoal cooker, you're not messing with air controls. Right. Your fuel goes in the top. You just fill it and, and it's pellets. automatically dispensed into, into the, the fire. Absolutely, there's an auger system that feeds the pellet fuel into the fire. Set it, forget it, controls, I can set that, whatever temperature I want, I can go away for the complete day, doesn't matter if it's windy out, that's gonna hold about as good as an oven will, temperature-wise. So, Martin, tell me that before now on pellet grills like this, it was tough to do a steak, right, Michael? That's one of the key things, you're right, Kurt, is that the temperatures didn't Just get, didn't hot, get enough hot enough to enough. sear properly, yeah. and we've that solved that problem with this grill. Yeah, we can sear a steak in about seven minutes, you're at 700 degrees to sear a steak. So you can come home and use this as a gas barbecue if you like. Come right. home after work, throw a steak on where you wouldn't necessarily start a Kamado. Right. But I can also bake a pie on this. I can also have a 20 to 40 hour smoke on this, right. overnight smoke. Right. To clean it, I simply turn it to high, I let it burn off, and I shut it off. A small ash pan with a burner pot at the bottom. Right. I can slide out and dump. Yeah. And we now, make these in beautiful Victoria, B.C., so they're Canadian made. Victoria, B.C., is it? <laughs> Now, they're going to be available to the general public soon? Soon, yeah. We've taken some orders. Romantic Fireplaces is currently our dealer in Ottawa. There goes the smoke. We do, way. so it's lit. We yeah. do have a uh, website, theblackolivegrill.com, where you can locate a dealer. We're just in the middle of setting up dealers. You'll be able to get these in stores uh, within the next month and a half, two months. Michael, have you used this thing yet? Uh, I've actually seen it being used, and yeah. I'm so excited, Kurt, because no, I actually haven't had a chance to physically get Until on it. Until today! So Until today, so it's really exciting. Really, really exciting. Look at this bad boy. Amazing, isn't it, Kurt? Yeah. Wow. Inside, we got a turbo burner, patented turbo burner. That smoke will dissipate in a minute as it blows it out, and then you watch the temperature climb. Right, right. And it's the white smoke, right? It's like when you're naming a pope, for crying out loud. Well, it's clean, white, pure smoke, and that's yeah. what, you know, you're using virgin, you know, uh, pellets. Uh, it's food grade pellet and that's really what it's all about, but it's the ease of operation that makes this so much better and I think a lot of gas people, you know, you, one of the things you've had people that have talked about charcoal, as you know, Kurt, yeah. you know, you've had charcoal at home, it's all about taste and flavor, but yeah. yet the women won't go to the charcoal because it is too much work. Well, some of them won't, no. And in this level, it's, they will because, they, so we're going to convert a lot of gas people to go to a wood pellet uh, Kamado style cooker. That's Just one like of the advantages. And there's flavored pellets. We're using maple today. Yeah. But you can get different flavored pellets. And one of the things that we did think of was if someone loads this up, which I can get I can get up to 20 hours cooking off that load. Right. If I smoke, I can get 40 hours cooking before I have to refuel. Right. If people are cooking with a maple, maybe they want to switch to an apple and they don't want to go through all that, there's a release door down here. I can open that up, let my pellet tube drain, yeah. close that and refill it with a different flavor fuel. Okay, well. I mean, it looks great. All, all the features are fantastic. But how does the food taste on it? We're going to find out, right, Michael? We certainly are. What are yeah. you going to make, my friend? We have a peach and pork um, offering today. I mean, yes. fall is right around the corner. I can't believe I'm, I'm saying that. But uh, as summer phases out, I thought it would be exciting to get some local pork uh, up, or, up from uh, Wakefield, Quebec. Okay. And some peaches on the grill, maple okay. syrup on everything is my typical, uh, yeah. one of my favorite ingredients. All, all right, we go. All right, well, we'll get to that in just a few minutes. The Grateful Griller is here. Uh, the Black uh, the black Olive I want Pellet one. Grill is here. Jeff Hopper is already one. screaming, I want one, I want one. Oh. There's your fire. There's look your, at that. The fire's underway, fire. my friend. That okay. is, take a look oh down God, there. Look at that. Look. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. 